Chapter 231 of the Open Public Meetings Act, adequate and proper notice of this meeting has been given to the public by publishing a notice in the Glen Ridge Paper, the Glen Ridge Voice, the Montclair Times, and the Star Ledger, and posting said notice on the bulletin board of the, in the municipal building. The agenda and public handouts for this meeting can be viewed online at glenridgenj.org. A public comment period will be held as listed on the agenda. Please state your name for the record if you wish to comment, and note that comments will be limited to three minutes per person. Um, and I'm gonna also add that we will allow time for scouts to take photos up here too, so please, please be advised. Uh, Tara, would you like to call the roll please? Yes, Madam President. Councilors Lefkowitz is absent. Hughes? Present. Moody? Present. Law? Here. Meyer? Here. Uh, Mayor Mans is absent. Council President Morrow is president. Council President, we have a quorum. Thank you so much. Uh, presentation of written communications? Uh, yes, Council President. I have two uh, pieces of written correspondence from this evening, which were actually all distributed to the Council as well from Ms. Frances Mylack. Um, both regarding the Easter egg hunt slash great egg hunt um, and regarding Easter. Um, and you've, both, you've all seen them all, so I'll just leave it to that and I will um, file them with correspondence as, as usual. Thank you, Tim. And now for our scout presentation and proclamation. It really is a special time and I really have to thank all the scouts for being here their families for supporting them. Um, I was a former Girl Scout leader, so I do have a little bit of um, sentiment attached to that. But it really is a great thing, and you, uh, you all do so much for our community, and it's wonderful to have you here and for us to acknowledge you. So, so without further ado, I shall read the Scout Proclamation. <clears throat> Whereas Eagle Scout is the highest honor of scouting and is achieved only through dedication, community service, and hard work, and the rank of Eagle Scout is a lifelong honor and is respected by all persons familiar with scouting. And whereas Wesley Steele of Troop 855 has stayed the course and earned the rank of Eagle Scout, in which he restored the interior of a formerly derelict building used by the Glenridge Athletic Association by raising over $1,000 to buy new equipment, such as bins and new light fixtures, and oversaw a total reorganization of the space to assure that the so-called shed could serve as an organized warehouse for all town sports. Over 30 volunteers participated during the duration of the project, resulting in over 120 uh, man hours, woman hours, labor hours of volunteer work done within the building alone. Whereas Emmett Boucher of Troop 855 has stayed the course and earned the rank of Eagle Scout by devising and implementing a project to prevent narcotics overdoses in Glenridge by partnering with Rutgers Medical School and our Glenridge Police Department to host a virtual training for citizens of his community and distributing town-wide information on ordering free Narcan kits. Additionally, he coordinated the scouts to distribute over 2,000 pamphlets to every home in Glenridge on recognizing and treating narcotics overdoses. Whereas Harrison Pelechko of Troop 855 has stayed the course and earned the rank of Eagle Scout by creating a rain garden that solved a chronic flooding issue for Benson Street Gardens and Benson Street. Aside from the practical solution, the garden beautified the area with local indigenous plants 
found to this specific area of New Jersey that naturally will soak up the rainwater. Whereas Aiden Davitt of Troop 855 has stayed the course and earned the rank of Eagle Scout by educating the local citizenry on the dangers of released latex balloons to all local marine life and specifically sea turtles. Additionally, he was able to lead scouts to manufacture and sell 300 sea turtle ornaments during the last holiday season. So we missed that. <laughs> Each ornament sold with information on positive steps citizens can take to keep local marine life safe to acquire the funds to purchase and install a new air filter for the Sea Turtle Recovery Center to save over 100 sea turtles. Whereas Alan Breslin of Troop 855 has stayed the course and earned the rank of Eagle Scout by organizing, teaching, and overseeing scouts to renovate the office area of the Glen Ridge Volunteer Ambulance Squad headquarters by replacing the flooring, building, and installing $7,000 worth of cabinetry and fixtures and upgrading the IT systems. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Emory Morrow, Council President of the Borough of Glen Ridge, with the advice and consent of the Borough Council, do hereby proclaim Sunday, September 22nd, 2024, to be Glen Ridge Eagle Scout Day in the Borough of Glen Ridge in honor of the achievement of these scouts. And I call upon all of our citizens to recognize, respect, and congratulate them and their troop leaders for their accomplishments. Are, are they all here tonight? Are the scouts here tonight? Okay, might you stand? Uh, let's see, Wesley, Wesley stand, please, thank you. I really, I, I have to thank the scouts because you really do so much and I know I'm involved in the Benson Street Garden and I appreciate everything that you've done there and I know there's a scout working there now on his Eagle Project. So we appreciate really everything that you do. I mean the variety of projects that have really supported our small community and the fact that there's so many of you here working so hard in our small community is something to really be uh, acknowledged and we thank you. And we thank your parents as well and family members because uh, I know it's 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 a it's a cooperative effort, cooperative gig. <laughs> so congratulations again. I wish you guys all the best. It's really quite an honor.
I know, but they're taller than us. I have resolution number 6824, uh, be it resolved that the following claims presented in the resolution be approved, the warrants be drawn for the same. Uh, Madam President, I seek to move this uh, resolution. You've heard the motion by Councilor Long. Do I have a second? I'll second. Thank you, Rebecca. You've heard the motion by Councilor Law, seconded by Councilor Meyer. Any discussion on this resolution? Seeing no discussion, will the clerk, clerk please call the vote? Yes, Madam President. Councilor Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Four ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Thank you. I have resolution number 69-24. This resolution certifies that the borough complies with the United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission's enforcement guidance and considerations of arrest and conviction records in employment decisions under Title IX of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. 
Uh, Madam President, I seek to move this resolution. You've heard the motion by Councilor Long. Do I have a second? I'll second. Thanks, thanks, Peter. You've heard the motion by Councilor Law, seconded by Councilor Hughes. Is there any discussion on this resolution? Is it Title IX or Title VII? There's an official record. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Title VII. Yeah. Title VII. So um, other than that, no other comments. Seeing no further discussion, will the clerk please call the roll? Yes, Madam President. Councilor Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Four ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Resolution number 70-24. Uh, New Jersey law provides that budgets as advertised shall be read in full at the public hearing, or it may be read in title only, only if at least one week prior to the date of the hearing, a complete copy of the approved budget as advertised shall be posted in a public place where public notices are customarily posted in a, pub, in a principal public building and copies may be made available to each requesting same during the said week prior to the public hearing. Um, now therefore be it resolved by the mayor and council that are hereby declares that the conditions of New Jersey law have been met and therefore the budget for 2024 shall be read by its title only. Um, Madam President, I seek to move this resolution. Um, you've heard the motion by Councilor Law. Do I have a second? I'll second this one. Thanks, Lori Jean. You've heard the motion by Councilor Law, seconded by Councilor Moody. Is there any discussion on this resolution? I, I know we've noted the budget will be posted on the borough website. There'll be a copy in the office here. And I believe there'll also be a copy in the library, in the library. or we'll, we'll look to put one there if there yep. isn't one. Yeah. Uh, so residents have an opportunity to review it uh, and any questions can be forwarded uh, to the borough, to the borough office and we'll put them in touch with uh, Matt Laracy with, uh, with any questions you can have. Thanks. Uh, okay, seeing no further discussion, will the clerk please call the roll? Yes, Madam President. Councilor Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Four ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Resolution 71 24. Uh, the Local Finance Board, which is a government, a New Jersey state body, adopted rules that permit municipalities and sound financial condition to assume the responsibility of conducting the annual budget examination. Uh, the Borough of Glen Ridge has been declared eligible to participate in this program by the Division of Local Government Services and the Chief Financial Officer has determined that Glen Ridge meets the necessary conditions to participate in this program for the 2024 budget year. This resolution states that based upon the Chief Financial Officer certification, the governing body has found that the budget has met the requirements to be self-certified. Um, Madam President, I seek to move this resolution. Uh, thank you, Rich. You've heard the motion by Councilor Law. Do I have a second? I'll second. Thanks, Rebecca. You've heard the motion by uh, Councilor Law, seconded by Councilor Meyer. Any further discussion on this resolution? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Yes, Madam President. Councilor Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Four ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Resolution 72-24. The, the resolution formally introduces the proposed budget for 2024. The proposal anticipates a 3.32% increase in the municipal tax levy, uh, which equates to an average increase of $148 on the municipal portion of residents' tax bill, uh, based upon an average residential assessment of $672,000. $540. Um, the budget will be posted as um, uh, Council President Morrow mentioned on April 18th to Glenbridge paper and it will also uh, the mayor and council do hereby approve the proceedings as the budget for 2024 at a hearing of the budget and tax a hearing on the budget and tax re resolution will be held on May 13th 2024 at 7 30 p.m. And the budget will also be available on the borough's uh, website, and hard copies may be obtained through the municipal clerk. Um, Madam President, I seek to move this resolution. 
Thank you, Judge. Uh, you've heard the motion by Council Lamar. Do I have a second? I'll, se I'll second. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, and, and I would just like to make yes. a quick comment about how much I'd like to acknowledge the amount of work that's done in the budget, Matt. Thank you very much for that. It's, uh, it's a months long pro process that involves uh, really digging into expenses and revenues. Our department heads in, in reviewing this throughout the year. All right, you've heard the motion by Councillor Law, seconded by Councillor Hughes. Uh, any further discussion? All right, seeing none, uh, could you please call the roll? Yes, Madam President. Councillor Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Four ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Uh, Madam uh, Council President, I have um, ordinance number 1804, uh, an ordinance titled uh, calendar year 2024, order, ordinance to exceed the municipal budget appropriation limits and establish a cap bank uh, for first reading. Can I have a second for the roll? Uh, I'll second. Uh, any further discussion amongst the members of the council? for the first reading of this uh, cap ordinance. Right. Seeing no further comments forthcoming, um, Tara, can you call the roll? Yes, Madam President. Councilor Hughes? Aye. Moody? Aye. Law? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Four ayes, no nays. This ordinance is passed on first reading. I refer the ordinance to the municipal clerk for the purpose of statutory publication and posting. Yes, Madam President. That's all I have, Madam President. Thank you. Thank you, Rich. I appreciate that. Peter? Uh, so the Public Safety Committee met today. Uh, I'll just give a couple of updates. The three-way stop over what by, uh, uh, what's that, Sherman? And, uh, the three-way stop over the bridge. Oh, Highland, Highland, Highland involvement. involvement. Highland involvement, right. Mm -hmm. uh, we're still waiting for warmer weather to be able to do the striping to be able to install the crosswalk. Separately, happy to report that our PLPR grant has been approved um, through the help of Congresswoman Cheryl's office. Uh, it's in the amount of $56,000, <coughs> and it will cover um, auto license plate readers. Uh, readers. Uh, we have not yet determined exactly where we're going to put them. Um, we will be coordinating with our neighborhood communities. Tonight I have uh, first a consent agenda uh, and these, these cover um, resolutions authorizing road closures uh, for a variety of different events that we're having. Um, the following items are considered to be routine and therefore acted upon as a single motion. If any discussion is requested on a consent agenda item, we can remove it from the agenda to the regular agenda from the consent to the regular. All consent agenda items will be reflected uh, in full in the, min in the minutes. Uh, so I have resolution 7324 be resolved by the mayor and council uh, that there may be an item of business at each regular meeting uh, consent, which shall consist of a resolution of resolution of a routine or non controversial nature and not requiring discussion. So, Mayor, I move resolution uh, 7324, which includes the Arts and Eco Fair, Rhino Rock. Okay, thanks, Peter. Yep. Uh, you've heard the oh, yes, you've heard the motion by Councillor Hughes. Do I have a second? I'll second. Thanks, Marjorie. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none, Clerk. Tara, can you call the roll? Please? Yes, Madam President. Councillor Hughes. Aye. Moody. Aye. Law. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Four ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Okay. I think that's it for me. No, I think seventy-nine and eighty. 
the so 79 so they should also have been included in the consent mm -hmm. agenda mm -hmm. yeah. the raffle and the overpayment of taxes yeah. I don't, they were they're uh, I thought the overpayment was no I just read it separately from the other ones oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just so look I, I'll just for, for information then so yeah. included then was also a, a small uh, tax refund block 6 lot 15 uh, property on Carteret Street um, the individuals in the mortgage processing service have advised they want a refund rather than applying these payments to their tax utility account in the amount of $3,384.90 um, thank you for that and that's all I have for tonight Great. so the consent agenda covers resolution 74-24 through 80-24 correct thank you sorry about that no that's okay and you did call the roll, right? Yes, you did. Yep. Thank you. Laura Jean? Uh, I don't have any official reports, but I do want to take a moment, please, not to keep us from getting home tonight, but to remind everybody that April is Earth Month and to take a moment also to let everybody know that Glenridge is actually doing an awful lot this year for Earth Month. Uh, we have a bunch of events, particularly this weekend, uh, 13th seems to be our lucky day rather than unlucky. We have a community garden cleanup happening at Benson Street Green. We have uh, the Tony Brook cleanup that is our twice annual cleanup and the spring cleanup from what I've heard is often the heaviest because of all of the winter detritus that flows down. So I encourage people to participate in that. Uh, we are having our second ever repair cafe at the train station, and that is an all-volunteer <coughs> effort where volunteers offer to repair things for free for mm -hmm. local residents. Uh, we are fully subscribed, but we're asking people to come and uh, walk in, especially if they're curious and might have space. And the library is participating in this. They're bringing Ice the Book Bites, and mm -hmm. they're going to encourage people to use tools from the Library of Things, and they're bringing repair guides so that people can take them out on the spot. And then later in the month will be the Freeman Gardens Rake and Bake on April 27th. So bring your appetites and your rakes. rakes. And your rakes. <laughs> I was gonna say, and your elbow grease. Uh, and then all month long leading up to the Eco Fair, we are still selling our annual pollinator sale. And we are selling milkweed. And you can buy that through the Community Path program on the website. Yeah, it's very, very easy to do that. Right. And thank you, Eric and Tara, for getting the announcement out. So all of the information that Lori Jean just shared is also on our borough announcement. Um, the Benson Street uh, Community Garden Cleanup will be from I will be there from 9 to 11 on Saturday morning, and it's supposed to be a beautiful day. It's really just a lot, a lot of prepping and maintenance of that garden. All the produce grown there goes to the Human Needs Food Pantry, and last year um, we harvested just under 1,000 pounds of produce that, that was delivered there. So it's really an opportunity for people to see what goes on there and hopefully recruit volunteers uh, for the summer when we're actually doing the harvesting and the delivery. And, and I just want to amplify and say, you know, we really are as a council, uh, as a town, doing more and more to try to make Benson Street come alive and be more than a parking lot. You know, between the community garden, the Eagle, the Scout, Eagle Project, Scout Project, Project yeah. we yeah. salute yeah. it. There's another Eagle, so it's mm -hmm. on the pollinator pathways. Right. Uh, you know, that was the shade and rain garden, right. the sun garden that was going in. Mm -hmm. We've reoriented there, so we want to make it a community space. It, it really, yeah, the, the scouts really have done a lot. We had a scout several years ago who rebuilt the beds is his Eagle project, so we're very happy about that. Thank you. Uh, Rich? I have nothing to report tonight, uh, Madam President. Mm -hmm. Nothing to report. Thank you. Rebecca? Nothing to report tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I will not report as well. Uh, and let's see. Uh, nothing. Oh, I guess Eric. I'm gonna follow along and say I have no report. Okay. And I have no report. <laughs> she, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing. Make something up. Uh, please. All right. Uh, any other comments from the public? Seeing 
Second chance, Matt. Second chance. <laughs> Matt will be available for your <laughs> for your questions. For your budget questions. Uh, all right, Rebecca. I would like to make a motion to adjourn, Council Great. President. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye.